Hi there and welcome back to the channel. As you could as you saw we were cleaning the tractor, I'll get everything out of it. And she's all cleaned up as well. My dad just gave her a wash down as well. If you haven't guessed already, this tractor is going today. That was the surprise. The new one's not here yet, it should be here any time now. We're just waiting for him on the on the stone pad now, but yeah, we've decided to change her in. Well my dad was talking with the dealer and he's been talking about money and it was the right money to change it to be fair we wanted to also i'll tell you what when the new one comes and this one goes i'll talk you through what optional extras extras we had we have put onto the new ones but we wanted to have a bit more technology involved on the tractor but don't get me wrong this tractor's been a lovely tractor to drive and also it's a new style new style tractor so it'll be nice to see the differences between this one and the new one coming We've had this one for three years, so she's done us a good stint. It's her time to leave the farm. But she's she looks very well. Oh, whenever she's clean, she does look a nice beast of a tractor. Anyway, we're going to wait for the lorry to come. And I'll get the drone up and see the new one coming and this one leaving. We were young, we were far from home. Dancing in the streets down in Mexico We were oceans, worlds apart Till we found each other in that old town bar Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Say you feel the same way I do Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Feel it in your blood like I do here the 165 case puma and as you can see it's got the new style bonnet on it which personally i don't mind don't go wrong there's nothing wrong with the other style but that's quite a nice style as well where do we start we've put quite a few optional extras on it compared to what we had on the other one but we'll start on the outside first so we've got front links front pto um we've got these cup links here as well which we didn't have on the other one we had a pipe going from the back all the way to the front to plug them in but also we got a light light socket there as well to plug the front front mirror lights on so we didn't have that on the new one not on the old one sorry also we got the new lights on the side new indicator lights and then new side lights and what we've got on there we went for a full light package so on the old one we just had two lights on on the top and two lights on the back and we didn't have any lights on the back there and any lights by here as you can see we've still only got two on the front but we've got three on the top now and i took i just turned them on even in the light and it blinds you so it'd be interesting to see what it's like in the in the dark i'm sure it'll be like day I mean, the ones on the one, 150 were good and got a lot more on this, but yeah. So we got a full light package. Um, where do we go? Around to the back now. We got LED flashing beacons, hydraulic top link. Now this was not from an extra as well. We thought we'd go for it. It just makes it much easier than just having to wind the top link in and out. It's much easier for all of us from, even my brother can, I'm sure can do it now. Don't get me wrong, it's probably, it's quite heavy but once you once you got it on the machine it's just press one of these buttons on the side that one there adjusts the height of the top link how far in and how far out it is but yeah what else have we got on the back here obviously ear brakes 50k hop in the cab now and i'll show you what we've got in there It'll be a very nice tractor we're very pleased with it 540s on the front and 650s on the back so same as the 150 first thing that i noticed we have a screen in here so it's a multi-controller screen 
Um, we went for it. Oh, we've gone for also isobus on it. This is the cable back here. That's the isobus cable. So in another video, you'll see another surprise. It'll be before first cut, put it like that. I'll, I'll give you a bit of a clue. But yeah, we went for isobus. Um, so obviously we had to have the um, multi-controller screen. Um, electric spools as well. We used to have the manual spools over here. We got four electric spools here, which is very good. Other than that, obviously we got this bar here. It's basically the same. Uh, obviously we got the fridge in here. The fridge has actually got a cap this time, whereas the other one was just open. Um, we haven't got an electric brake. We've still got that one down here, but that's fine. It's not. It's not exactly hard to push it, push it down and lift it up. Also, what we noticed when we hopped in here, the seat on this one is just when you hop in it, it actually sinks a bit. So it seems like it's going to be a bit more comfortable to drive than the 150 because the 150 you sat in it, it just didn't move. Whereas this one actually has a bit of flex, which is nice. Um, but yeah, she's a, a full power shift, so no ranges. She goes from 1 to 19 without having to change each range. So that, especially with road work, you can't beat that. It's obviously CVX, well. That's just another league. But, uh, we went for full power shift, it just makes it much more easier. Then all the lights up there, aircon, fans, radio, and yeah. Very nice tractor though. Really pleased with it. When my brother gets home, he's in school today, so when he gets home, we'll take a full drive. Me and my dad are going to go and ch go up trying to fix the bed on the muck spreader because we've got to get this muck out soon. You'll see it a lot in my future videos. Right, the 165s on the slurry tanker. We've given the tanker a good wash down as well. You can see my reflection in it. My dad's off to spread muck as well. Um, so hopefully we should get on pretty well this afternoon. And we'll get a fair, fair few acres um, covered with the tanker and muck spreader. My mum signed another saying. Um, what is it? Slurry on the fields makes better yields. They just keep coming out. You can't beat them up. Anyway, I'm going to go fill up and then we'll start a busy afternoon worth of spreading muck and slurry. <laughs> Blood like I do